everybody, it's Norma, and I'm here with my empties for the month of December. I wasn't really going to plan on doing another video, but I was like, I got to clear these out. And most of these I burnt before, so I don't really need to talk about them. So I think, you know, I'm just going to do a quick little video, show you guys. Um, and I just wanted to thank you so much for all the comments that you guys left in my last video. Um, in case you haven't watched that one yet, you know, I mentioned that, you know, my mom hasn't been doing well and I'm driving down every weekend to Ohio to, you know, clean the house and shop and do laundry and make sure her medicines are in order. So it's been sucking up a lot of my time. So I don't know how often I'm going to continue to do videos. You know, if I can, I really would like to try. But as I mentioned before, I'm not going to stress trying to do it. But what happened to me um, a couple days ago was a little bit of a plumbing disaster. I have a bathtub that I never use because one, it has very low water pressure and it takes like forever and a day to fill the tub and by the time it's filled, it's cold water. I've had plumbers look at it, it's just the way the plumbing is in my condo, it has very low pressure. And there's been issues with leaking and drainage and, you know, like the people below me had their ceiling collapse about six, seven years ago. So I don't use the bathtub anymore. I actually use it for storage. That's where I store my Christmas decorations. So everything was fine when I took the bins out Thanksgiving weekend, when I went to take the bins out a couple days ago to put my Christmas decorations again. To my horror, one of the bins was filled with water. <laughs> And I had to um, take all my spheres out, which they're on the table behind me drying. Luckily, I think I can salvage most of them, but uh, they're drying out for a couple more days before I, I put them back. But this caused a huge major project for me, even though that's a huge project in and of itself. The access panel to my bathroom is in my storage closet. Yeah, the closet where my cats are forbidden to go because they could get killed in there. I don't like to go in there because I could be killed in there. It's just a disaster. So I had to clean everything out of there or clear everything out of there to make sure that when I call the plumber to check on the leak that they can get in there and access the panel. Um, so in the long run, this may have turned out to be a good thing. You know, if you guys watch my empties video, I'm always lamenting. It's like, man, you know, I'm burning all these candles and, you know, I haven't been buying that much this year and I just don't seem to be anywhere with my candle collection. But after going through everything and reorganizing and I have, um, I had a cabinet in there that I had to take out and find a place in my hallway to put it. Where it's, it's not ideal, but it's it's okay, it works. I was like, oh my gosh, everything is so much more organized now. I was basically able to find a place for all my candles and all my accessories, except for about a dozen, which I just shoved under the bed. Um, and so I'll, and they're like my florals in spring, so those will be gone within probably, you know, the next three or four months. So... I have been making progress, people. I have, so I was really glad to see um, that, you know, all this burning that I've been doing is finally starting to make a dent in my stash. But don't get me wrong, I still have a lot of candles, a lot of candles. So I'm going to focus on 2019 burning and not buying. And um, once again, thank you guys all for the well wishes for my mom. It is her birthday today. She turned 85. And uh, so far, it looks like she's having a good day. I've been kind of checking in on her. And she's gone to see Mary Poppins. And um, she's going out for dinner tonight with my sister. So, yeah. So, so far, the last day of 2018 has been a pretty good day. Um, gloomy and rainy, but okay. So what did I burn in December? I burnt um, quite a bit of my favorites. I am going to start with, uh, what am I gonna start with? I think I'll start with this one. This is a Yankee candle. This is uh, A World Journey's Christmas in Paris. 
and I really like this candle. I, I haven't been wanting to burn it. I've had this one for a few years and I finally decided, okay, this is the year. And I was really happy to find a second one when I was cleaning out my candle closet today because um, I haven't been able to find this one um, in the discount stores. I was looking for it after I lit this one because I really like it. It's like a spicy pine, but you know it's a two wick medium sized tumbler and it threw pretty good. I was really happy with it. So I was glad I finally got to experience that one. I also, let's just do the Yankees first, I guess. Um, I had sparkling snow going in my bathroom, and I just love the label on this one. I've done, I reviewed this one before, just one of my favorites. It is kind of like a little bit of a soapy pine scent, but I've always had a really good throw with this one. Yankee Candle Gingerbread. This is a discontinued scent. Why? I don't know because I think it was one of their best. I had this burning in my great room. Um, great throw on this. With all the other stuff going on, sometimes I didn't really notice it, but one night, yeah, I left the candle burning because it was near the end and I, I wasn't really aware that it was still going, but it was. And the minute I woke up the next morning, I knew I'd left the candle burning overnight because my whole house smelled like gingerbread. So, yeah, I was very pleased with gingerbread. I think I have maybe three or four more. And then that's it. Fresh cut roses, because in the first part of December, I was just longing for a fresh floral, and fresh cut roses is one of my favorites. And I found a lot of these today stashed in the bottom shelf of my closet. So I'm glad I have those that I'll be able to access easily. I think in February I'm going to burn roses all through the house because I got a lot of rose candles. So I continued on my burning my three wicks up. So I'm done with all my fall three, no, I think I got, I think I got like three fall three wicks that I didn't get to. They're more like perfumey type scents. But these are, I did all my winter ones. Um, I did unearth quite a few um, spring ones that I will be working on. I found like plumeria and lemon lavender, I think were the main ones. So gingerbread, again, in the three wick, this is so strong, did really well. All of these did well, except for that one. Um, this one, I this was a recent one. I picked this one up at Burlington Coat Factory Cookie Swap, did really well balsam and cedar of course classic and I can't remember what this one is a dupe for um, this is the only one that I wasn't really pine berry it was a little bit of a soapy pine but it was it was this one was light and it didn't burn quite as well um, but all in all I mean I do like the three wicks you just have to really let them pull out your first burn or you are going to have issues. My first burn of chestnut and clove. I know this is a really popular one. I am just not that crazy about it. It was really strong. It threw great. Uh, I didn't hate it, but there's just a note in there that I'm not quite sure about. Um, so I had to burn it in my great room because I, I would have hated this one if I had burned it in my bedroom. Um, I think I got one more. Honestly, I don't know if I would repurchase it. Um, I know it's a favorite, but yeah, it's one I, can, I think I can live without. Okay, and then Kringles. My Kringles for Christmas. I burnt these all before. You guys know this is my very favorite Christmas candle. Probably my favorite Christmas candle and one of my very favorite candles from Kringle. I absolutely love Kringle's Christmas and they had their um, clearance sale start after Christmas and usually this is, has been included in the past but it wasn't this year so I didn't stock up. I have enough to get me through next year but after that I'm going to have to buy some. Another one that I really like is Snow Capped Fraser. This is a good woodsy piney scent. I've reviewed this one before, talked about this one before. Great thrower. 
love both of these scents. A new one for me that I burnt is Votivo Red Current. Uh, this was gifted to me by Sandra. This is her signature scent. She loves this one. And I like it too. I wouldn't say it's a love, 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 but I do really like it. It is a kind of like a citrusy grapefruit, grapefruit currant scent, a little bit on the tart side. So if you like those kind of scents, you might want to give this one a try. I liked it enough that I did do a little splurge order and I would order more if I didn't have to like buy new tires for my car and I got to deal with plumbing blah 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 you know how it goes always something this one was a disappointment this is Volupsa Volupsa Am Am what is it I don't have my glasses on Amber Lumiere I actually like this scent and I've had this scent in another form before I got a votive out one day because I just wanted to have a change of scent. And this <laughs> votive sucked burning. I mean, seriously. It just had puny wick syndrome. It was tunneling. It just, for some reason, it just didn't burn pr properly. But I have had the candle and a two wick before, and it was fine. So um, the scent is beautiful, just like a soft amber cologne type scent. And then, of course... <sighs> As you guys know, or if you don't know, Henri Bendel is closing. Some stores are slated to close as early as January 5th. All stores are closed by January 19th, 2019. And I think the website closes either January 20th or 21st. I don't remember the exact date. So I decided I had to bring out my rhubarb and balsam. And I did do a haul, um, a Henry Bendel haul on my candles where I said Balsam Hideaway is a dupe for rhubarb and balsam. Um, so I hope some of you were able to pick some up because they're all gone on the website now. The website is so sad to look at. I check at it, you know, a couple times a day and things are just disappearing. Um, beautiful candle, great scent, great thrower, burnt perfect. Um, no complaints on rhubarb and balsam. So there you guys have it. That is my empties for the month of December. I wish you all a happy new year. I hope 2019 is a good year for all of you. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below and have a blessed day.